So, I have for you a tier list. I decided to make one of these because why not? And I have a. I'm going to be making a tier list of all the games I've spent time on playing. And I'm going to be ranking them in the classes of amazing, good, decent, needs work, or poor. Now, I've only got, I think, nine different games. I couldn't really think of any others that I've spent a decent amount of time on. Most of these I've put at least 20, 30 hours into. Most. Uh, things like Ark, kind of, I've put 110, something like that, on PC. Things like Fortnite, I've got at least over 800 hours on that. Um, yeah, we'll get, we'll, uh, we'll get started with GTA. Uh, I've always liked GTA. I got it a few years ago on my Xbox 360. I nearly completed the story on that. Then I got an Xbox One, so then I got it on that. Then I completed the story on that, and then I got it on PC a couple of weeks ago because it was for free on the Epic Games Store. But I've always liked GTA. I've liked how they've managed to keep up with the updates. They've always put new things in, like the Diamond Casino. They always up that, update the uh, podium with the vehicles. I like that. They're consistent with that sort of thing. So I'm going to put GTA in Amazing. Despite there can be some toxic people and very annoying people. Uh, yeah, all in all, it's a very good game. Um, Skyrim. I'm currently doing a series on Skyrim at the moment. Uh, I love Skyrim, I've always loved it. I've never hated Skyrim. Um, it's a very, very good game. I like the fact that there's a special edition. A VR version recently came out. Well, so recently, it came out in 2017. Uh, it's still fairly recent, though. I've always liked Skyrim, yeah. Um, I think there could be more things in terms of expansion packs that could be brought out sort of thing like there's three expansion packs Hearthfire or Heartfire, whichever one uh, Dawn Guard and I think the other one's called Dragonborn I know one of them lets you be able to build houses, I think that's Hearthfire uh, the Dawn Guard unlocks four Dawn Guards, the Vampire Hunters uh, which also allows you to turn into a vampire at some point. I'm not too sure what the Dragonborn one does, but it always likes Skyrim, but I feel like there could be a few more updates in terms of expansion packs sort of thing, so I'm going to put it in good for now. Maybe I'll change it based on where I've placed the others. Uh, Ark, Ark Survival Evolved. Yet again, I've always loved Ark. There is a few little problems I have with Ark. I like the expansion packs they're bringing out. Uh, the recent one was... It wasn't Aberration, it was something different. Genesis, I think it was. That was the most recent one. I'm pretty sure it's 35 quid though, so I'm probably not going to buy that. Because I don't play Ark much anymore. Mainly because I've played it so much, it's kind of boring now. But... I suppose if you take it steady with playing it, it doesn't get too boring. Like, don't play a game loads and loads and loads because you get bored of it so quickly. Like, space it out sort of thing. Which is not what I've done with The Sims 4, but somehow I still really enjoy that game. So, Ark. My opinions on Ark. It's an amazing game. I love the whole concept of it and stuff, like the whole dinosaur thing. I've always loved dinosaurs since I was about two. <laughs> it's never really changed, to be honest. Hopefully it doesn't change, but I think maybe the fact that I like dinosaurs has probably boosted it up a level. But I'm going to put Ark in Amazing. I don't think any of them are really going to be in the poor category, because none of these games are so bad that they need to be that low down. But the lowest they're probably going to go is needs work. But, um, Sims 4. Right, the Sims. This year it was the Sims 20th anniversary. So, the Sims games have been going since the year 2000, which is absolutely insane. So, um, yeah, the Sims 
is a very good game. I've always liked The Sims, and luckily they're bringing out The Sims 5 later on this year. So I think they said fall 2020, which I'm pretty sure fall in America is autumn sometime around then. So maybe October, November time, maybe late September at the earliest, hopefully. Apparently it's going to be about $60, so maybe, I think, forty nine ninety nine maybe, uh, pounds. I'm not too sure in, on those parts of currency. I'm not very good at translating that sort of stuff. But The Sims 4, I've always liked it. I've spent over 500 quid on expansion packs, and <laughs> <laughs> I've played the game an awful lot, so that's why. But it's probably the game I've played the most. If there was a way of finding out how long you've spent playing The Sims 4, I'd like to know it. <laughs> so if you do know a way, then let me know. So Sims 4 is going in amazing. Apex Legends. Oh, okay. Now, I like the new season, as I've said. Um, I feel like there could be some work done with... I know this isn't right to compare it to Fortnite, because Fortnite is trash. But... Like what Fortnite used to do in the early sort of days, like season 2 to 8, I think, was when they did most of the map changes every week. Because there used to be an update every week for Fortnite. Apex, they only really do a map change every season. That's what Fortnite does now as well, since that Chapter 2 thing started. Since that Black Hole event, Fortnite's fallen off for me, like, severely. But we'll talk about that when we actually get to Fortnite. But... Apex, I feel like it could use some work. Uh, obviously it's made by EA, but so is The Sims 4. Sims 4 expansion packs are a little overpriced though, to be honest. Like, most of them are about 35 quid. So, actually I'm going to move Sims 4 but down into good. Uh, Apex. Apex, for me, it's a fun game, it's very addictive. Uh, it's easy to win. Which is what I don't really like about Fortnite because it's impossible. It took me nearly three seasons to get my first win. Actually, no, it did. It took me nearly four actually to get my first win. But luckily, the only well, sadly, the only umbrella I don't have is the season two one. Well, I could have done it, but that's a story for another time. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I feel like Apex is going to go in the decent column. It's a good game to play. It's fun. It's addictive. But I feel like if you play it too much, then it gets boring relatively quickly. Uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild. Now, I really do like this game. I've always preferred this one, like the Hunter Call of the Wild, to the Hunter Classic. The only reason why I don't really like the Hunter Classic is because you have to pay for licenses to hunt certain animals, and that just sucks. And when I say pay, I mean like real money, not in-game money. And... Um, yeah, uh, there's not really any microtransactions. I don't think there is any, actually. Uh, there's expansion packs. I don't know whether that counts as a microtransaction. And they're pretty cheap as well. The cheapest, I think, is £3 something, which um, maybe is $4.99, maybe. Somewhere around that mark. Uh, the most expensive, I think, is 10 No, I don't even think it's that. I think the most expensive is like 5 something. That's like the Vahonga Savannah pack, like the uh, Medivh Tyanaga sort of things. The one Hunter game I've always wanted, though, is the dinosaur one. <laughs> it's it always looked so fun to me. But so the Hunter is going in good. It's it's really fun, but it could use some more work uh, up in that area. Now, Fortnite. <laughs> You're going to hear some things you don't want to hear, but I am here to explain my hatred for Fortnite. So, let's get into it. Fortnite started off really fun. Season, Late Season 1, Season 2, Season 3. I enjoyed the early parts of Season 4, but my opinion of Fortnite started to go severely downhill when it destroyed Dusty, because I love Dusty, that's sort of what started it all off. So, I really enjoyed 
the seasons. I think season 6 was the last best season that I enjoyed. Until season 9. I loved season 9. I know I loved season 2, 3, parts of season 4. I enjoyed season 5. I loved season 6. And I loved season 9. Season 8 was alright. It wasn't the best. The event was cool. The season 4 event was also amazing as well. The uh, rocket. Was that season 4 or was that season 3? I think it was 4. Yeah, um, the storyline. I love the storyline. They've kind of fallen off of that now, though. They don't really do it anymore. I know the new Fortnite season is coming out on Thursday, I think. I'm probably not going to cover that. I might do. But it's not like I'm going to enjoy it. I'm not even going to pretend that I enjoy Fortnite, because I just don't, and it's easy to tell. So there's probably not going to be much Fortnite content on this channel, but... All in all, it's a decent game, like, credit to Epic and that, for actually creating it. Even though they pretty much ruined the world with it, but... <laughs> um, definitely going to say it needs work. It is a good game, but they've fallen off with it severely. It could definitely be better. But um, enough with that, on to Stardew Valley. Now, Stardew Valley is a game that I've put a lot of time into a lot of time not much effort really it doesn't really take much effort you just sit down for hours at a time and just enjoy <laughs> another game i forgot to put on here was sea of thieves I forgot about that i'll tell you where i put sea of thieves at the end don't worry so stardew valley is one of those games where it's very fun and addictive you can play it over and over again there's no real end to it like, I know people, well, like, not personally, but people on YouTube have done it to year 100. The game doesn't stop. <laughs> it just continuously goes. I'd love to see someone get to, like, year 1000. See how that pans out. I wonder if Concerned Ape actually made an end to the game. <laughs> and the one thing that really amazes me about Stardew Valley is it was made by one guy. And that was uh, Concerned Ape. So, well done to him. <laughs> he did really well with it. Considering that one person made this game. I'm pretty sure... I don't know whether I've read somewhere that he did it in college or something like that. At university. Might have been one of those two. Not too sure. I might just be thinking something completely different. Might not even be true. But I'll have to look that up. But... Yeah, it's a really good game. I've played it non-stop pretty much since it came out in 2016. It is a really amazing game. I've always loved it. Hopefully I'll always will love it. And yeah. <laughs> now onto Roblox, the second to last one. Because I mentioned Sea of Thieves, didn't I? Uh, almost forgot about that. Can't forget Sea of Thieves. So Roblox is full of... Potential, that's the word. Roblox has been out since 2006, I believe. It's about 14 years. <laughs> it's been out a long time. It's done well. I know there's this thing going around on social media that Roblox is shutting down. It's not, don't worry. Roblox will be going for as long as the developers owners can manage it i guess i knew it was kind of fake the second i saw it going around on social media is this thing about oh we've run out of money we can't sustain the servers anymore something like that it costs too much roblox will never run out of money <laughs> they're always making money no matter whether it's from robux that people earn for creating games i'm pretty sure they might not do but I, they probably take a percentage of that or something but i'm guessing you get the robux they get the money because actually yeah they would do wouldn't you because otherwise if you were to buy robux the money's not going to go back into your bank account is it it's going to go to the developers anyway <laughs> I'm veering off of the subject here. Um, yeah, Roblox is a good game. There's thousands, if not possibly, I'm not too sure, millions of games on there. Probably not in like the high millions, maybe like 2 million maximum. 
but it's really fun. People have done really well with making games on Roblox. Uh, I've always enjoyed playing Roblox since I was a small child, but I think Roblox is probably going to be in the... I don't know whether to put it decent or good. It's like that thing, you know, when you've got, when you have like a test or something, like you tick all of one box, and if you've got like too many in a row, you try and change it because it doesn't look right. <laughs> That's what I feel like with this. There's not enough in decent, but there's too many in good. But I suppose it's opinion, really, isn't it? So I'm going to put it in good. Now, the last one I mentioned, Sea of Thieves, didn't I? I want to try and get this done sort of soon because we're coming up to the 16 minute mark now. But, um, Sea of Thieves is one of those games where it's very fun, can be annoying at times. I struggle to play it because I lag ridiculously, but I still play it loads. It keeps my attention, so. I'm guessing Rare and I've forgotten the other developers, but Rare have sort of grappled you into the, the vortex of enjoying the games. So you'll never leave. <laughs> You're like stuck in an endless loop of playing Sea of Thieves. Sometimes you've got to just leave it and give it a break for a few days because you get annoyed if you get like attacked by a crow or something and you've done like four skull forts. It's kind of annoying, but Sea of Thieves is up there. It is a good game. It does still need work. It's not perfect. It's around a decent mark, so I'm probably going to put it in decent. So Sea of Thieves is going to go in the decent area. When I edit this, I'll try and put like a picture of Sea of Thieves in there or something, if I can. Uh, anyway, yeah, this has been my top games that I've spent time on, to be honest. Um, if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll uh, see you again tomorrow. Hopefully, I currently have a YouTube video uploading. That was the Skyrim one that I've just recently uh, recorded. So... That should be done soon, hopefully. Not too sure what percent it's on, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, consider subscribing, and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.